Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight, should be. Who gets that shiny moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, crippling knee to the body. And he lands a big left hand there. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got oh! Is right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big left. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt. Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Back and forth we go. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And once it... Oh, that's a second. He's, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, blood pouring out of that eyebrow now. That shot opened him up. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turned. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's the effect of the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. That's how you finish your fight. And he comes through with a big knee. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. And Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. What a round. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Ready? All right, here we go with round two. Oh, he's got it. there. His opponent could be out of here soon. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh. Oh, he the over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Back to his feet. was heavy. Beautiful knee. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And it's blocked. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. Oh, oh. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Big knee to the body! So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Able to check the high kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, nice jab. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this. Oh! Ain't to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, his way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! So 
near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of round number 3. We're playing the winner by Knockout Assassin! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by Knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.